Day eight of our 21 days of prayer, and I got a question for you. Have you ever wondered if there's a proper to pr- way to pray or ever felt like you didn't know what to say or how to pray? I love what which Richard Foster says in the same way that a small child cannot draw a bad picture, so a child of God cannot offer a bad prayer. Perhaps that offers a simple answer to this question. Still, what are we talking about here? The posture of prayer? If that's where the question comes from, there are all sorts of kinds of possibilities. The Bible talks about praying when we're walking and moving. It speaks about standing, sitting, kneeling, lying in a prostrate, uh, laying, laying prostrate on the ground. Or are we talking about the actual words of our prayer? Do we have to have good manners when we pray and be sure that we use all the right words and say them correctly? My hunch is, is that while posture and the words we choose are significant, they really aren't. We, we really are talking about something more important, more vital here. Uh, what's implied in this question is the attitude of the person praying. And on that, we can do no better than to look at a couple times when Jesus brought this topic up. First, Jesus says in Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 8, he says, And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the streets to be seen by men. And when you pray, do not keep babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Second, Jesus tells a similar sounding story in Luke chapter 18. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed about himself, God, I thank you that I am not like the other men, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and I give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and say, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. The proper way to pray is with a humble attitude. God cares more about our thoughts and our hearts than the words on our lips. He'd rather have your big worries than your big words, your expression of need than your eloquence of language. So what are you waiting for? Talk to him now. Spend three minutes crying out to God. And then today I want to challenge you to memorize 2 Chronicles 7 verses 14 and 15. Start by writing it down five times. And then, as you pray today, pray for national and international mission organizations and individuals and groups who are seeking to make a difference. Thanks, have a great day, and we'll see you all tomorrow.